In this video, I'd like to offer you some practical advice when it comes to learning about Solaris. Solaris, if you're not familiar, is the umbrella term that Side Effects has coined to include all these new Houdini 18 LOPs and USD implementations. So if we go here to Solaris, this is where we find the user docs for this. I would also like to emphasize before I continue that this is a work in progress. <laughs> I think my impression is that side effects release this probably a little bit too early because there's still a lot of uh, work that needs to be done with this. But yeah, I don't mean to narc on side effects too badly throughout this video uh, because this does take a ton of work to implement. But at the same time, I want to try to help you guys with what I can. So, here we have USD. And again, LOPS is the context that deals with USD information. It's where you author USD stuff so that that can be sent to any sort of render you'd like. Now, if we start here at the USD basics, okay, what you'll find is right away is that there is nothing at all basic about this page. <laughs> so, you know, it's the basics, but the basics are definitely not basics because as you go through this, what you'll find is that there are so many different terms and different words that developers have made to describe things within this system that it's kind of like learning a new language. And the way that this is presented is kind of like somebody walking up to you and they say, hey, I need you to learn Latin, so here's a Latin dictionary. That's, that's basically what this page feels like. So I want to think of this as the best way to learn about USD at first, because this is a bit more like an encyclopedia or a dictionary of things, and it's really not going to help you wrap your head around the purpose of all this and what it's about and all of that. So... Anyway, a couple of additional notes I'd like to add to this is that one unique challenge that you're going to run across is the fact that Pixar has all of their words that they invent for things, and Side Effects has all of their terminology. And because USD was developed at Pixar, what you'll find is that words that you're used to might not mean the same thing over at Pixar as they do over at Side Effects. Probably a, a great example of that is that many times over at Pixar, points, like a point attribute in Houdini, are they're not called point attributes. They're called vertex attributes. And the actual vertex attributes in Houdini are called something else at Pixar. And so you kind of have this, this different language overlap that gets very confusing very quickly within USD. Also, many of you have never worked at a large studio before, and so many of you don't really know about the specific challenges that are obvious to people who work at a studio every day. As an example of that, we have something here called opinion strength. And opinion strength is basically a feature that allows one department of a studio to override any changes that another department made. So, for instance, if you're the lighting department and you want to override lights that somebody in layouts had set up, that is where you can use opinion strength so that your lights can override what somebody else does. Now, all of this doesn't have any impact on you if you are a solo artist, and many of you are. And so, as you're going through this study of USD, if you do, Realize that a lot of this will not really apply to your situation until you find yourself at a larger studio. I'd also like to mention that even though there's all these different terms and confusing things going on, all we're really doing with USD is we're just building an outline, a really sophisticated outline that has some complex rules involved depending on where you're at in the outline, and that is essentially what we're doing the entire time. So when you get confused about this stuff, just take a step back and realize that all we're doing here is we're organizing scenes 
and we're allowing for multiple people to work on that scene in different ways. So if reading this USD basics isn't really the best way of going about it when you first start, then what is the best way of trying to learn this stuff and get better at understanding what's going on? Well, this page, this USD basics is good, but it's something that is better to come back to once you have a little bit more practice just using it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is going to this tutorial section and what you'll find is that, I believe it's Sean at Lost Boys, he, uh, he put together this whole written tutorial with scene files right here that let you follow along. Now, if we go here to, let's say, the first tutorial, it's pretty well put together. But what I like to do for you guys is I like to go through this tutorial, follow along with all the steps that Sean has outlined, and then use that also as an excuse to talk about some of these various parameters as we go along. So I'm going to kind of use this as a combination of here's what he's doing. I'm going to go through all the steps and then at the same time, use this as an excuse to talk about some of the specifics of what these parameters are trying to say. Now, also, as we go along, I'm still learning this along with you all. Even though I've worked at Pixar for a little bit, I wasn't too involved with the actual USD implementation. So I have a bit of familiarity with USD, but much of this, and especially the way that it's implemented within Houdini, is fairly new to me as well. Also at the time of recording, I know that um, the guys over at Intagma are working hard at this as well, so that will certainly be a great help in the future as well. But I want to go through this and give it the best that I have. If there's anything that you know about that I'm teaching here that isn't quite accurate, let me know and I'll be happy to update this video as we go along. But I'm going to try to get this right the first shot. I think that it'll help you all immensely in trying to figure this all out. And I think that uh, that's a, a generally a good idea. So. Let's give this a shot and I'll see you in the next video.